This is a tutorial using the new CloudRF API clients on Windows 11. To follow this tutorial, you'll require a few things. First of all, you need to go to this URL on GitHub at CloudRF, CloudRF API clients, and download the code. To get the code, click the green button and then download zip. This will pull down a compressed archive containing all the examples we're going to work with now. You'll need Python, so if you haven't got Python installed, go and fetch it from python.org downloads and install that onto your computer. To visualize the output, we'll need Google Earth just to validate the files we're going to create. That can be online or it could be a desktop Google Earth. And finally, you need a CloudRF account. Sign up for a free plan if you haven't got one already. And what we're looking for here is an API key. Get the API key from here and copy that to your clipboard. Okay, we've downloaded the API clients and we're open up this compressed folder. And in this folder, we've got some languages. We've got Bash, we've got Python, we've got Slippy Maps for web-based maps. This tutorial is gonna focus on a basic Python example. So in here, we have a new script called Cloud RF, and this is where you run all the Python API requests from now. We've got spreadsheets, we've got examples for area, multi-site path, points, and we've got templates. If you go up back, back up one folder, we've got a templates folder here with lots of different equipment in. So let's start here inside Python. Hold down Shift and right click, and what we're going to do is extract this compressed folder to our downloads or anywhere else on your computer. Now we've extracted, let's go back into the Python folder, hold down shift, right click and open a terminal. Now the reason we're opening a terminal here is so that we can call this script. And we call the script with the command Python and then the name of the script, which is cloudrf with capital C, and we do that on its own, you receive an error saying you need to execute this with an API request. So you can do area, interference, mesh, multi-site. So let's do area. Same again, more information this time about the area API. If you want to see long instructions for how to use this, type dash dash help, and you'll receive detailed instructions with all the parameters you need to pass. So here we go. Let's pass in parameters. So first, what we're going to add is a spreadsheet listing all our transmitter locations. So dash i and area.csv. This example contains three locations on the island of Ibiza. Now we need a template. We need to say what those devices are. In this case, they're going to be lower gateways. So let's do uh, dot dot slash and go back to the templates folder. And in here, we've got some LoRa templates. So I've selected a LoRa gateway eu.json. This is just a text file that you can work with. And now finally, the third thing we need is our API key. If you remember, we copied that to our clipboard earlier. So if I right click and paste, here we are. So that's us ready to run a request and model three towers. So we run that request and it's thinking about it now. It's taken that off to the API. If your key was incorrect, it would have returned immediately and told you and said your key is incorrect, but this was correct, so the process has completed. So now let's go and have a look in that folder and see what we've got. So in the Python folder where we unzipped the scripts, uh, we have a new folder called output. And in this output, I can now see three files here, three KMZ files. And I can validate those by going to Google Earth and importing them. So I'm going to import a KML file from my computer. I'll select this one and have a look at that. And that looks like a LoRa gateway on the coast. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And I can now go ahead and manipulate the output because I want this to go further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the Python folder and open up the spreadsheet. It's just a CSV file, you could open it in Excel, you could open it in Notepad. Notice that the column names now map to the API. 
in terms of the sections, but also the value. So in the transmitter section, we have a latitude, a longitude, a height, and in the output section, we have a radius. So I'm going to set all these to five kilometer radius now. I'm going to save. Save it somewhere new. Okay, saved it as area one, okay, CSV. See what I've done there? I've opened up the file from the compressed folder, not from the decompressed folder. So if I go back to here, I'm just going to close. I'm just going to rewind and go and open up the area file from the decompressed folder. And save that. So if you hit that read-only error, you're probably working in the compressed archive. Okay, let's go and repeat that job. We've changed the radius, we've set it to five kilometers. That's finished. And then inside the output folder, we have three new files, slightly larger, and there's one here which is 36 kilobytes. So let's go and open that up in Google Earth. So we import the KML again. We're going to choose the one which is 36 kilobytes, and I'm expecting to see a five kilometer radius, and that's fine. So that is a quick tutorial on how you can use uh, the new Python API examples with a spreadsheet. And in your spreadsheet, you just place all your uh, transmitters and any variables will go in here. Any constants, well, they belong in your template. And your template can be edited in a text editor. So like here, you put in the constants into this file here.